Hi guys, um, I just want to share with you a journal that I've been working on recently and um, it's my version of a journal um, that is uh, called Remains of the Day and the actual original concept is um, by a lady called Mary Ann Moss and she actually does um, an online class where you can learn how to make this. Now I've not done this class um, but if you want to find out more about that there's lots of videos of people that have done the class um, on YouTube and you'll be able to search um, how to um, do this um, and you know you'll be able to find the links to her um, web web page and things on there so as I say her name is Mary Ann Moss so as I say this is my my version of it as you can see it's um, a fabric cover and um, I've used a pair of old jeans um, and I just kind of wanted it rough and ready I've frayed the edges and the stitching is quite random and, and that and I'm not worried about that that's kind of the look that I was wanting for this particular journal as you can see I've used the ribbon closure and um, a week or so ago I did a um, patchwork class and this is the piece that I ended up making and so I thought it'd be quite nice to actually stitch that onto the journal and then with along with some lace so inside um, I've lined the cover with um, just some normal cotton fabric as I say it's not perfect I'm not a, um, a sewer by any means and um, but I just wanted to put it together and have a bit of fun with it so that's what I've done all the pages have been um, all the elements to the pages have been stitched on there as well um, with a sewing machine but the only thing I did by hand was the signatures I don't know if you can see and I just kind of bound it the way I would normally um, bind hand bind my um, journals so um, as I say the base, bases of the pages are coffee dyed paper and um, this is a pocket obviously made from um, an envelope that I was sent and I really love those stamps so I've kept that and I've, as I say used it to create a pocket and this is just an envelope that I've made um, with the envelope maker just out of some um, paper and I'd made it a while ago and it was in my stash so I thought I'd just tuck that into there as, you, as you'll see this is a proper junky journal this time um, and I've added things that are my favourite um, Lizelle products so I've added that this um, is a little uh, clear pocket that I've added and um, just stitched some um, pages out of a, a magazine to the edge um, some coffee dyed uh, lined paper that was left over from a, another project and obviously a tab so they've just been added on this is a doily that I got some time ago and I've just stitched that on the top and the other side is just some packaging a tag from some packaging now um, a lot of the what I've used for my decorative paper is um, from a magazine called Daphne's Diary and um, they, they're really pretty um, it's done in a sort of a journal type uh, format and quite often you get bits and pieces in there and this was one of the actual um, kind of freebies that you got and I've actually just stitched the bottom of that so that's made a little tuck spot and a place to add a photo and as I say that was part of um, Daphne's diaries um, and I'll, I've actually having been holding the, the uh, magazines for quite a while I've decided I need to actually do something with them because the pile's getting too big so I've bitten the bullet and started um, pulling them apart and these images are also from the magazine which I thought they were really cute so I've added them just onto a fold out flap this is um, just a piece of parchment paper and yet again the, the butterflies were punched out of the magazine and I've just stitched them down the edge um, a page out of the magazine as you can see it's very nice and colourful and, and kind of shabby chic and that so I've just left that plain um, that's the other side of the 
um, parchment paper. And this is from um, a book, um, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and a card that I picked up. So I've just created a pocket with that. And then this side, there's a flap. And that's, as you can see, is the page. And it had been tea dyed and that. I think I'd done that yet again for another project and thought I'd add it. This is just um, an odd journaling spot that I had, so I've added that. And um, here's a, a tuck spot I've created. And yet again, this is paper from that magazine, but it looks as though it's lace. So I thought that was quite cute. And this is just a postcard that I've got um, from somewhere local to here. And I just love the flowers on there. So I've just tucked that in there. This is um, just um, a one of the little paper bags. And as you can see, I've stitched the bottom so it can add a, act as a tuck spot behind or the pocket. You get quite a bit in there and I've just added a paint chip in there. And on the other side, I've added the, this butterfly embellishment and tucked a postcard behind there. Um, that's the other side of the clear pocket. And um, just a random list thing that I had, so I've stitched that in. Um, this is obviously from an envelope and it's created a little pocket so I've just tucked some paper in there and um, some more odd scrapbooking paper that I've used to create another pocket and this is a file folder that I made a while back so I've just tucked that in there as well. Another image from the magazine and I think someone sent these to me. Um, and so I thought, oh, I've just added that in and there's um, a pocket and this is paper, yet again, from the magazine and um, a little punch butterfly. And then we've got some more, um, another image from the magazine, another security envelope. This is a bit of a tuck spot there. And then this side, there's a pocket and um, another image which has created a pocket there. And seeing as they're such nice images, and I thought it'd be quite cute to have it so the window, she's looking through the window, or I can see like the flowers through that way. So, And then we've just got a piece um, of um, just random stuff stuck in there. Um, this is a glassine bag, and another piece of that um, book. Um, that I used previously. Just an odd rub on that I found that I've just added to the page. And um, some more of the um, parchment paper with some butterflies stitched to it. This is just like um, an, a piece that's like a note paper that I've added. And another piece, another thing from the um, magazine, another page. Oh, and that's the Daphne's Diary. That's the, an advert for the magazine, so you can see what it looks like. Um, the, another piece of the parchment paper, and this time I've created a. I've added a circle, which will create a little tuck spot or a little tab, and of course some more butterflies. This is just a random piece of um, ephemera from when we went out one day, and the other side there's a pocket. Um, the other side of the um, glassine bag and I've just added some um, oh, music paper to the edge there which I've actually um, punched. I don't know if you can see that but I've punched the edge of that just to make it decorative. This is just um, a random card I've added and another tuck spot there with some more paper there and this is the other side of the um, envelope and there's another tuck spot there just a little piece of ephemera just stitched to the top there uh, this is um, a package from some soap that um, I had when when we went on holiday um, this and this is uh, just a bottom half of an envelope 